Hey everyone, we're back. And I was just talking with these three jolly gentlemen who are drinking to uh, to their pleasure at the table in the inn. So let's continue. I just asked them about uh, their names and asked them their opinion of Mordavia. Uh, tell me about rumors. Do you know any good rumors for me, good friends? Rumors? What rumors? There are no rumors here. Unless you count the rumor that the castle is owned by... Nonsense! There are no rumors to speak of in Mordavia. Okay. That sounded a little bit uh, cagey, but I'll just pretend that they're being honest. Tell us about the town. The town of Mordavia is a quiet place. Filled with friendly, joyful people. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Well, I'm not sure about friendly. We tend to be very suspicious of strangers like you. Well, the town is filled with joyful people. Happy and joyful people. Well, uh, I wouldn't call us particularly joyful. As a matter of fact, most of us are pretty glum. Very well. Mordavia is filled with people. Yeah, many people. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it many. There actually aren't very many of us around here. Oh, forget it. That third guy seems to be the most honest person of the three, it seems. Yes, he's uh, he's the straight man amidst two comedians. Alright, I think we're done here for now. Let's go ahead and sit down, and I bet um, the... Yes, she comes out and gives us dinner. You don't have any food rations. You better get some food soon. This is why... I think we're in luck. <laughs> yes. This is why I'm not, I didn't buy any food rations, though, because you get free food here. Well, again, it's not free, but it's part of the board that we already paid, so here we go. You get a fine meal of roast lamb garnished with red cabbage. Oh, and liberally flavored with garlic. Lots of food here is uh, garlic seasoned or contains copious portions of garlic. Notice also all these strings of garlic strung from the rafters. There's, like, garlic everywhere. There's also garlic in the in the shopkeeper's shop yeah and garlic in the adventurers guild yeah there's garlic everywhere basically there's garlic strung around the moose's neck in the adventurers guild yeah you don't need to actually do anything to eat the food once the food is brought out you automatically eat it. you don't need to click the hand on the food to eat it or anything like that i think you're pretty much done here let me just take a look at this um boar's head or whatever it is the giant wild boar head is a trophy of the burgomeister's last boar hunt that must have been one impressive boar yeah, because he's so boring. Okay, um... I wait, wait! Aren't you gonna get the garlic? You got it from your room, not here. You can get it from your... From here? Yeah, you no, sure? from your meal. Are you sure? You can pick at it, I think. Are you sure about this? No, no. not the table. No, the table's helping to keep you off the floor as well. Uh, no, you have to click on the plate. That's what I did. No, you didn't. This is the plate here, right? Yes. Yeah, it's see. hard, but you can click on it. No, I think what you're thinking of is if you go to your room. See, this is our room no, up no, here. No, no, no. I've been able to do it before. Okay, I well. I swear. Okay, whatever. Well, well, you can do it from your room anyway. Let's go ahead and go up to our room and let's check out our rooms. Our rooms. Our room. You unlock the door to your room and go on in. Come on in. Okay, so this is our cozy Whoa, little room. lights went out. <laughs> yeah, because it's nighttime. Actually, if you check the time here. Actually, it's not that dark yet, but it, it is officially night outside. Um, by the way, since we do have climbing abilities now, we can actually get into our room at night, even when the inn is locked up, by climbing in through this window here. But we don't need to do that right now. Uh, but yes, you can get garlic from these strings of garlic on the ceiling here. Garlic braids festoon the room, adding that certain special ambience of Gilroy in the spring to the room. Oh, Gilroy in the spring to the room. This is another California reference, by the way. Gilroy, California is a town that has a garlic festival every year, um, which is a reference that might escape non-Californians or non-Northern Californians. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and grab some garlic. You take a clove of garlic in case you meet an Italian chef somewhere. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't buy garlic at Olga's shop, because you can get free garlic just by picking it off these strands in the ceiling here. There really is not much else to do in your room here other than get garlic. You can look around at, like, this chest here. The large chest is a good place to store equipment you don't need to carry around with you. In case things should get too heavy. Yeah, but the chest is empty and the hero doesn't actually use it for storage. There's a nice little rug on the floor. It's a braided circular rug, apparently mass-produced. Yeah, because they already had mass production in the medieval times when this game takes place. The furnishings are sparse, but the bed, bed isn't bad and the room seems pretty clean. The bed is adequate, but nothing to take home with you. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think so. 
After you leave, they'll probably put a plaque on it reading something like, Hero slept here. <laughs> Assuming that is that you leave in one piece and with your throat intact, not necessarily a good assumption. Okay. There is a little candle here. The candle provides a supplementary light source to, e to economize on lamp oil. Can we get the candle? Oh! He lit the candle. That's cute. And you put the candle out. That's great. So that's, that's very uh, useful to put the candle on and put it out. I'm wondering where all this light is coming from. This, this whole room is pretty well lit considering that the candle is off and, there's, and it's dark outside so there shouldn't be any there's source a, of There's a light right above your cursor. Right oh, there. Oh, is that a light right there? Yeah. Uh, oh yes, right you are. The lamp dimly illuminates your bedroom. Lamp oil is included in the rent. Can we steal some lamp oil from the lamp? Oh, you light the lamp. You put out the lamp. See, the, the lamp is out, and it's still so well lit in here, so it's like there's no there's <laughs> no source of light. It's just that artificial sort of Sierra lighting that you only get in Sierra Adventure games. Okay. I think we're all set, then. Let's see. Check our inventory. We've got lots of things here. We've got garlic. We've got our pie pan. We've got our oil from Olga. We, we still have a lit torch. We still have a lit torch. This torch never burns out. This torch just keeps on burning through the whole game for days and days. That's an awesome torch. Um... I think we've got pretty much everything that we need now. We've done most of our exploring that we need of the town. Let's try going outside and see what happens. Uh, the inhabitants of the inn eye you suspiciously. You get the feeling that you're not particularly welcome here. Yeah, you just saw me a few minutes ago, folks. Yeah, it's getting dark. You can see, look at the sun's position in the sky. It's getting dark. One thing that I do want to do, since I forgot, you've never seen so many locks and bars in a door. You can't find any way to open it. It is very dangerous in Mordavia at night. We always keep things locked up when it gets dark. I will let you out for now. If you wish to return later this evening, just knock on the door. If you do not make it back by the closing of the inn, may you rest in peace. That's comforting. Oh, the windows are closed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Burgomeister's windows got closed. The Burgomeister's window is securely shuttered against the night. And I don't think we can open it. Now the window's locked. We could probably pick the lock, but that's nah, not bother for now. All right, let's step outside. I don't think the town is locked up yet. No, it's not. Okay, one thing I should do real quick is I forgot to check this scene out adequately. Uh, remember these shocks of corn? You can actually get some corn here. So let me do that now. You take an ear of the corn and put it away in your pack. One other thing is in this tree stump here, an old stump by the side of the road makes a convenient resting place for passers-by. Ah, but just like in the first King's Quest game, there is money inside this... Uh, here we go. You find five crowns that someone hid in the hollow stump. They're covered with mold and dirt, and have obviously been long since forgotten. Oh, they might be covered in mold and dirt, but they're still legal tender. <laughs> okay, so that was something else I wanted to do. All right, let's go back into the town. Uh, if you ever get locked out of the town, and the towns, those town gates close at night, if you ever get locked out of the town, you can still climb your way back in. Well, you can also rest... Um by around a step. Yeah, you can also go in. Yeah, you can also. Well, no, but you need to get into the town first. To get here, you need to get into the town gates oh, first. Oh yeah. If you uh, if you get into the town, uh, you can sleep here, or you can if you if you're able, you can climb up to your window here in the inn and then sleep in your room. Let me see. I don't think I've. Yeah. So you're getting some good climbing practice, but you need more. This is wearing down my uh, stamina bar up here. So, oh, it's really getting dark. Yeah, let me see, how's my uh, character looking here? His climbing went up by a whole two points, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go back inside the inn. Let's see, let's knock on the door. Your movement on the other side of the door. After a few minutes, you hear someone removing the bar and unlo unlocking the bolts on the other side of the door. Okay. So yeah, they were kind enough to let us back into the inn. Alright. Well, um... I think that's all we really need to see of the town. I mean, we've seen everything in the town uh, except inside the uh, the monastery in the north end of town. But everything else I think we've pretty much seen. So I'll go ahead and stop the video here and I'll continue advancing the plot of the game somewhat in the next video. But for now, I think uh, I'll just go ahead and save here and say uh, I'm in the inn for the night. Okay, good enough for me. All right, everyone, let's take a break for now. It's nighttime and it's almost time to go to sleep, except we'll need to meet somebody here in the inn at midnight. That will be exciting, so I hope you'll join me for that uh, exciting midnight meeting. I'll stop the video here. Bye for now, everyone. Bye-bye.